How many of you listen to all these dirty preachings on television? Don't be tight, it's not important. How many of you have listened? Some of you follow the teachers. I'll show you something today. When you don't tight, you risk your life. It's a lie. When you are not a tighter, any attack on you can take your life. It's a lie. But the first thing Titan does is to protect your life. Well done, insurance company. How much did you pay for Jesus to die? There's a man who sold his property. He did not tight. He doesn't believe in tight. He doesn't pay tight. Small fever for four days, he was gone. It's a lie. Don't jealous me. Oh. Leave that to him. Your works will be burned because you are using Bible to extort people. You are being deceptive. You are giving an image of God that does not exist. A God that cannot bless until you bribe him with Naira. A God that is limited, that he depends on your filthy looker to do something for you. Even an area father will give you water to drink without you giving him something. How much more your father? If you that are evil know how to give good gifts to your children without them giving you a seed, how much more your father in heaven? Somebody said, but that mean I used to preach it. That is why I can attack it. Uh, you must be an insider to attack inside. I know it well. Thank God I was there. Thank God I was there. Because if I wasn't there, I wouldn't know what to say. Fraud. Leave that thing. Preachers, be careful. Oh. We will see Jesus. Hmm. This is uh, Pastor Ebiome versus Dr. Ebe Damina about tight. Well, what I I think it's uh, I'm not very sure that uh, if you don't pay tight, God will not bless you. If you don't pay tight, it will dent your life. A lot of titers are really suffering. Yes. No joke. God does his own thing in his own way. So you cannot, you know, he does, is a, 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 how, how do I put it? You cannot explain better how God does his own things. But the truth is, if you want to pay your tight faith, it's your choice. If you don't want to fail, no problem. Nobody will force you to fail or not. But say, if you don't tight, it will be tight for you. The rich men, all those people making a lot of money, the richest people, they don't tight. If you want to give offering, if you want to give arms to the poor, you give. But it does not, it's not a yastic that God will use to bless you. I know somebody that does a lot of charity. But he's still hungry. Yes. Even if you if you pay tight, if it is not from your heart, you cannot be blessed. So it is just your choice. If you want to pay, pay. It's not the yastic for the blessing of God. Yes. So God does not say, oh, if you don't pay, you will not see this. No. If you pay, fine. If you don't pay, whatever happened to you, happened to you. The yastic. It's not in my church they preach about yes, pay tight, yes, they must pay tight. A lot of people pay, fine. They see the result. A lot of don't pay, they see the result. It can, it can, it can be cognitive or genitive. It's, it's just the choice. Now I'm not fighting, you must pay. But the lies they put behind you not paying the tight is the problem. That's where the problem comes in. I believe the kind of God we serve is not the kind of God they think he is. They say if you don't pay, some people say if you don't pay your tight, you will not make heaven. How is tight the yastic to make heaven? How? Now they say if you don't tight, you might have accident, bad bad things might happen to you. I'm not sure about that. God protect people irrespective of what you do for him. Okay, God has sent down the rain. The rain falls on everybody, both the righteous and the unrighteous, the sinners and people that they don't commit sin. So, our uh, God is a God of grace. It's a word of mercy. It is not about your money. It does not depend on what you give to him. You can, what do you even have that you can give to God? 
Just in what you want from me, show people love, serve God with your pure heart. I'm not saying don't fail yet. If you want to fail, fine. If you don't want to fail, it's you, your choice is not my own problem. But for them to be saying, if you don't fail, this will happen to you. I, I'm not, I don't believe that. I don't, I don't believe that. But the problem I might have is, church is now an feed up with this serving of it is all about money, 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 money. Why? Is that the God, my, that's my problem. Is that the gospel of Jesus Christ? You don't preach salvation. You don't preach at time. You don't preach the second coming of Jesus Christ. Why all these things? Because I'm just tired. Everything is all about miracle, courtesy, blessing. We have lost it. That's just the truth. We have lost it any which way that's my belief that's my thought thank you for watching don't forget to comment subscribe and share comment what you think in the comment section thank you god bless